It's the first thing that I want you to notice why I like this backpack. Hey everybody, welcome. This here's Mike at Crash Bushcraft. I want to talk to you today about something other, and it's the LK35. It's an older pack. You've seen many reviews on it. I just stumbled across it when I wanted to get serious about the bushcraft. So what I did was I went and investigated it, looked around, couldn't find one. One of my viewers hooked me up. I want to say thank you the Bushcrafter channel for that. I appreciate it. It's been what I've been looking for. Done a little bit of modifications and guys, that's what I want to get to and show you now. One of the things that I'd like to talk to you about is why I like this. As you can see, she still stands. I like that. To me, having a bucket system is what I've been looking for. I have bought and purchased many backpacks, a lot of good backpacks, a lot of good styles of backpacks. None of them were what I was looking for. I always ventured away from this here because I was thinking there wasn't enough in it for me to do what I needed. As the more I started studying around, learning bushcraft, and learning what it was about bushcraft that drew me to that style of woodsman skills was the fact that I don't need to take everything. I need to create a lot. What better way to do it than by reducing what you can carry. So let's take a look at this pack right here real quick. Across the top right here, as you can see, there's a metal frame. This here is, supports the whole pack in itself. That's what the pack sets on. You have a strap here, a strap here that flips over to the top, which gives you your gravity that pulls it down with weight to keep it from coming up. As you can see across the top here, I've laid a few dangling things up here just as for now. I'm not sure that I like them up there. I don't like the noise that it makes, so we probably won't have it, but for now, they do work well. What I have here is a carry-in strap. Now this carry-in strap, I added onto it off of another backpack. I just used some paracord, run it around, double looped it, tied it off just to the simple slip knot. It stays on, it does well. I added these straps here on. These are very thick padded straps. They're very comfortable. These came off of an Alps 2 backpack that I had bought. It was an external frame backpack as well just too large. It was made for more of a hiking, hunting, camping, staying out for a long time. Wasn't really much for bushcraft. Um, I took both of those off. As you can see here, they strap in to the kidney belt. We'll show you that in a minute. To loop them on, double paracord again. Why did I go with double paracord and not just go ahead and tie that to where it would stay firm and cinched? Paracord is something that I have with me all the time. If something comes loose, I can always put it back together. So I wanted to go with that. It was quick, simple, easy fix. That's why I did it. The backpack supports very good kidney belt. It's a very thick it has a memory foam inside of it, memory foam inside of here with a breathable um, liner so it doesn't sweat as bad. Your off of your back between this and this allows for airflow to come through. That's important. When you're looking down into this section right here, this is fastened on by these clips. They have tighteners. You can pull them as tight as you want. What I did was I fastened them on again right here. There's one on each side. That keeps it from being able to ever pull up and stay in position. The buckle itself has a quick clip. It's adjustable. You can tie these back. Reloop that in if you want, just to keep them from flopping around. The choice is yours. Well, for me, it's mine. The straps here itself helps to hold everything tied up against the chest, makes for a better fit. Comes with two pockets on each side for a little extra storage for some quick, handy things that you might need while on the trail. One for each side of it. 
I've had this patch here for about eight years. Decided why not put it on this pack here and naturally the American flag. What I like about this here, I went ahead and sewn or sewed both of those on. Here's the bucket strap system. It cinches down and comes out. I have my forest axe will fit inside of this as well as this hatchet here or any other hatchet that I've got. I just decided to bring this small one here. That's the Norlin hatchet, the one that I found. I made that handle, there's a video how to make a handle for one of them because you can't find them that well. They'll actually fit that small head. But let's go ahead and do a par, big old dump here and show you what I've brought with me and why I brought this stuff here. All right, as you can see, everything is layered in here. That's how I've decided to put everything in to where it would fit in to the, where it would be the right spot for me. Naturally, my water bottle cook set, pathfinder set. Don't wanna really go into a whole lot of the gear stuff on this here, just showing the pack itself, but that's what it is. It's got all the cups and the little cook stove that goes with it. So there's number one. As you can see, what that is, my wife done that embroidery for me. I had to show that pretty good, but it's just a cleaning cloth, whatever I need it to be. I always carry some of the cord. This stuff here, I like the sinew, it's artificial, but I like it. I use it for a lot of crafts and things. We have my first aid kit. Air body grip gloves, just for whatever. They're thin, they're easy, and they work well. My Schmock, a lot of uses. Complete fire kit for me, anyway. Um, why I chose to go with these type bags, they're semi waterproof, and they're easy to color code and know where my stuff is. It's just your basic little fire kit, um, a field guide, and some journal. Um, this here is just like some wild edibles and things like that. It's a little book pamphlet. Wood carving kit. Ones that are made out of sandpaper. One, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight, eight different knives, some olive oil, well, a wooden spoon that I'd made, and a puck, and I think that's about it. The Static V sleeping pad system. It's in there. It's compact, yes, we you know. It works well. Here's some cords. You got paracord in there. You've also got some bank line, enough cordage there to last for a while. And it's in that bag. One headlamp. Ah. To the side. We have the Enos jungle hammock and then the Pathfinder um, tarp system in here. I don't remember which one that it is. Um, it's just one that they sell at their store. It's the Adventurer. And it's got the two slings that go inside of it and a nose art trail lamp. And it's all right here. A hygiene kit, just your basic soap, wash rag some toothpaste, Listerine, um, some lip balm, just in case. Nothing spe special. <laughs> A thermocell. Um, I'm not sure if everyone knows what these are, but they're highly recommended. If you're a hunter, you already know. One of these right here will last about four to five, maybe six hours. 
on low you can get about seven hours out of it I guess for about a 50 foot radius around you you can forget having to worry about bugs they don't come around I don't know why they just don't um, tried and tested for about five and a half years now so that one is for the amount of money that it cost is six dollars for four butane filters they could normally come with two or three of these highly recommend you have one especially if you're in an area that has mosquitoes bugs and well we have one more uh, hd just in case most of it's a camp knife chore knife around camp and stuff like that even though yes i know i'm making them i've got more knives than i know what to do with i just like to show that it's all you gotta have um my moore's pot it's got a butane stove inside of it it's also got um a light my fire cook something other or titanium spork that's what it is and then one folding skillet by the pathfinder Well guys, there you have it. That's my OK35 with little simple mods that I did with it. It's nothing spectacular, it's not anything you haven't already seen, but what I've learned and what you're gonna see coming up in a lot of videos that's coming out, it's less carry items. Being able to carry as few items as possible for two to three days. Food is gonna be something you're gonna need. If you don't know how to sustain it, you don't know how to get it, you got to take it. If you got to take it, that means you got to cut something other out because you can't carry it. If you can't carry it, you can't take it, right? So why go? So that's why you want to be able to be rely more on a tool to make what you're going to need instead of carrying what you can't make. If you get the whole idea of bushcraft, you'll soon understand it a lot better because it took me years to figure it out.